So I bought this bumper right here, uh, which is used, but it was a decent price. So I had to pick it up because my original one was really messed up on this side, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all these little parts and grills and inside parts and the fog lights. Everything's gonna go on that bumper because this is just a two piece, which is still missing a lot of the little parts and the plastics. Let's get to work. This is how it looks without everything on it. You guys can see it's bare metal. Uh, same thing as this thing right here. The one that I bought is uh, $480 for just these two metal metal pieces. Uh, but luckily, I have everything, almost everything, good off of the original bumper and I'll go ahead and try to reinstall everything back on these right here these little grills I'll have to order and then install them later on all right guys so it looks like I need some uh, I need to order some parts for the bumper so I'm not gonna put it together for now and here are the new parts So it's the next day here, it got pre pretty late on me last night, got off work pretty late, so thought I could get some stuff done last night, but it got dark quick, so let's get to work this morning. These things are a must for uh, an impact drill. You can use any kind of socket, and yeah, makes your job ten times faster. Got the truck back home after the frame shop, and it's looking pretty good. Now I gotta start disassembling everything and putting all the new parts back on the truck and see if everything fits good. So this is what it looks like without the radiators and the fan in the front and the support. And just bare frame and the engine with all the hoses. The fan looks like it's good. I'm glad it's not damaged from the accident. And I'm going to reuse a lot of the parts from the radiators and the support as well. Looks pretty good. 
I like how it's uh, easy access to the to the engine, so you can work on it whenever you want. If there's anything wrong with it, you got the alternator. You know, you got all the pulleys you can work on. You got the ABS, all the hoses. All right, let's go ahead and assemble the the radiator with the support and the headlight brackets. All right, so this is my old radiator and fan and condenser. Here, let me show you guys what it looks like. They don't look that bad from first look, but then when you look at the when you look at the side of it, it has this huge dent right here and it has cracks everywhere on the radiator itself as well as on this side and it fully leaked out same thing with the AC liquid so I can't really reuse it can't reuse it at all but I am gonna reuse the fan the housing for the fan and this this little uh, shroud as well because they're not damaged at all I'm gonna go ahead and reuse the support bars, but I do have my own brand new headlight brackets that I bought right here and right here. This is the new AC condenser that I bought used, and this is the radiator that I bought as well, brand new. This is, let's go ahead and put everything together. support right here that I'm gonna reuse just the bars but I will replace the headlight brackets uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill the rivets out and replace just the headlight bracket so let's get to work I'm gonna rivet back um, the support the bar itself to the headlight brackets There we go, that's more like it. Got the support all together now with the headlight brackets. Looking good. with the headlight brackets the two tank reservoirs windshield and coolant and everything's looking pretty good lining up really nice the hood looks really good let's keep going went ahead and bolted on the headlight by one bolt nothing really permanent yet this is the old grill but I got a new one um, just went ahead and put everything on just to test fit it the hood is open currently so that's why there's a gap right here but everything else aligns really nice and looks really good the headlights are not bolted on yet but this is how it should be standing when it's all bolted and look at that guys and the hood goes down everything's looking so nice 
pretty much everything's installed already for the car to be running. Um, maybe going to try to drive out a little bit today and see how this thing runs. See how the engine works. Check the oil level. Uh, let's go ahead and add some coolant. Going to go to local Walmart, uh, get some coolant.